Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your dumbbell full body at home strength workout. What you need today, dumbbells, whatever you have, grab them. For resistance reference, I have a pair of five, 10, 15, and 20 pound dumbbells. I will always tell you what weight selection I am using. Just remember you and I are different, so you may need to go heavier than what I am using in order to feel challenged, or you may need to go lighter in order to keep good form. Find a weight selection that feels challenging for you while maintaining great form throughout. You will also need a mat and you will need a chair. Does it have to be a bench, just a chair? You could even use a wall. This is optional. We are only using this object to help brace ourselves during a few exercises. We're bracing ourselves so we can really hone in a little bit more and bias the intended muscle group. However, if you don't have a chair, you can do the exact same exercise without a chair. It's gonna feel a little bit more challenging. It's going to require more core stability. So again, the chair is optional. You can brace yourself on the chair or you can do it without the chair and get a little bit more core out of it. Both ways are good. Here's today's format. We have strength supersets. The first exercise we will perform for 60 seconds. Then we go right into the second exercise, which will be performed for 45 seconds. After round one, we get 15 seconds to recover before repeating the exact same superset, but with a shorter amount of time. Round two, it is 45 seconds for the first exercise, 30 seconds for that second exercise, 15 seconds to recover, then we're on to a brand new superset. If you need to make any adjustments with your weight selection, definitely do it in between rounds one and round two. Round two, we're gonna be a little bit more fatigued, so make sure you keep your form locked in and drop the weight selection in between rounds or even mid-set if needed. There is no jumping in today's workout. It is all about strength, so no cardio. If your heart rate gets up, we're really just pushing those weights, which is good. All right, y'all, enough of me talking. You may want to towel and hydration around as well. Meet me on your mat in a supine position. Grab your lightest pair of dumbbells, and let's get going. We begin your workout with our warm-up block. We have dumbbell dead bugs. Again, I'm using five pounds. Bring the shins up to the ceiling. Then we reach opposite leg, opposite arm. Exhale shoo, to return. Make sure your back isn't moving and we're not going into flexion and extension. I prefer keeping my back pressed into the mat the entire time. We're really honing in shoo, on your transverse abdominal muscles. We're also working your lats. This begins your workout in three, two, and one. Let's go. Inhale to reach. Exhale to bring it back. Take it slow. Take it controlled. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Trying to break us up when I'm trying to build it up. I wish I could make you stop. Cause baby, I love you. Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight. I'm gonna miss your body. You know I can never get it right without you. No, I don't wanna step into the light. If I don't get you shoddy. In 10 seconds, we take it to a double crunch. And three, two, and one. So go ahead, start in the ending position. Then we extend, exhale to draw it back. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to engage. So we're continuing to work the lat muscles as well as the abdominals, especially the lower abdominals. Keep your neck nice and neutral. So we're not hinging at the neck. If you start to flex and extend the neck, you will feel it in the neck. Make sure the movement is coming from the intended muscle group, the abdominals, and the lats. Last three, two, and one. Recover 15 seconds, then we do it again. Get into position. We have dumbbell dead bugs. We go in three, two, and one. Inhale, extend. Exhale to return.
Double crunch in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Dumbbells off to the side. Next up, we have a dumbbell bridge. So I'll be grabbing one 20 pound dumbbell. Also have a pair of lighter dumbbells handy for our dumbbell chest flies following. Dumbbell goes on the hip, drive it up, quarter up at the top, control it down. Pulse at the top, control it down. Glutes drive you up, drive it up again. Next up, we have dumbbell chest flies in an iso bridge position in three, two, and one. Set that heavier dumbbell off to the side. Grab your lighter dumbbells. I have a pair of tens back up to your bridge at the top. Now we bring the dumbbells out and then hug it in. Keep the lever long. So big stretch along the front of the delts and the chest. Drive it back in. Elbows are soft, but try not to hinge from the elbows throughout the movement. If needed, lighten the resistance. Last three, two, and one. Booty down, dumbbells down. We do that again, quarter up at the top for our bridge. We go in three, two, and one. Press through the whole foot. So drive it up, press through the feet, squeeze the glutes, maintain the tension on the way down, squeeze it again. So glutes drive you up, keep the tension, squeeze harder. Chest flies in three, two, and one. Change out the weight. Back up to your bridge at the top. Now we add the flies. Last three. Two and one. Dumbbells down. Next up, we have a kneel to press. My dumbbell will be in the left hand. Step the left leg back. Now we press it up, neutral grip. Drive it up with the right leg. All the way down, neutral press. Drive up with the right. Try to keep the rib cage stacked over pelvis. Core stays tight throughout. Now if this is uncomfortable on that back knee, you can just hover the knee. That's always an option. Or you can just add some extra padding like a towel or double or triple roll your mat for some extra cushion.
Next up, we have a swing lunge. Right leg stays grounded, left leg moves. If you can, hold your dumbbell in front. We'll start with the reverse lunge. Tap, front lunge, press off. So drive it up with the right leg. And then when you're in that front lunge, press off with the left foot. Make sure in the front lunge that your knee stays aligned with the ankle and that it doesn't cave in. So we want that good, nice knee over ankle alignment. It's okay if the knee goes past the ankle. We just wanna keep it in that same line, not caving in. Keep those knees healthy in three, two, and one. We do that again. I am out of breath. Heart rate is up. Onwards to round two. Here we go. Dumbbell in left hand, neutral grip. Let's go. Kneel, press, stand it up. Just one or two more reps. The weight is starting to feel extremely heavy. Keep that form locked in. Swing lunge, stand it up. Start with your reverse lunge and then take it forward. I'm gonna give you a different view so you know what I'm talking about. Knee stacked over ankle, not caved in. Last three, two, and one. Wow, recover. Other side is next. Dumbbell in right hand. Kneel down, press, left leg drives you up. I'm saying Swing lunge in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Recover. Round two is next. Here we go. Dumbbell in right hand. Neutral grip. Let's go.
swing lunge in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Dumbbells down, recover. Next up, we have a hip hinge pronated row. I'll be using 15 pounds slow, eccentric, one count pause at the top. Core stays tight, hinge from the hips. Elbows flare out, one count pause. Three, two, one on the way down. One count pause at the top, squeeze. Three, two, one. One, make sure that your lats stay engaged throughout, front of the core stays tight, and we're keeping your spine in a nice neutral position. So we're not rounding here, that's what I mean, and we're not overextending looking up, somewhere in between. Call it quinlateral raises, bring it up. Now we have a neutral grip bicep curl, elbows out and then down. Biceps, delts. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Recover, shake it out. Round two is next. Time is shortened. Pronated row, one count pause at the top, three count on the eccentric, let's go. Pelican lateral raises next in three, two, and one. And one. All right. Single leg RDL. Left side will be the working leg. This is where we're going to use our chair. So we're using our off hand, our left hand to help brace ourselves. Dumbbell in the right hand. We're going to take it down, reach towards the toe, and then bring it back up. So we're hinging from the hip, feeling it in our glute and our hamstring, and then driving it back up. Now we're adding a little twist to it, <laughs> literally, by just adding in a little rotation. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a better view. We're just taking it, twisting down ever so slightly, bringing it up. And adding that slight rotation, we get that glute medius, wow, which is a stabilizer muscle to fire even more. Make sure 
your spine stays neutral throughout. So it's not flexing, it's not extending, it's neutral. So we can bias the posterior part of this left glute and leg. Reverse lunges next. One count pause at the bottom. We go into it. The left leg continues to work. Now we drive it up. We're adding a little bit more quads now since we're hinging at the knee. Glute is still taking it, working. So fight through it. Use this hand to help assist up if needed. Pause at the bottom in that stretched position. Contract up. Last three, two, and wow, one, breathe. Okay, we do that again, 45 seconds for the RDL, 30 for the lunge. The rotation is slight, it is so slight. If you're confused, don't do it. All right, we got 45 seconds to make it count. Ask yourself where you're feeling it. If you're feeling it in your glute and in your hamstring, that's a good sign two thumbs way up, even though I only have one thumb available. If you're feeling it in your back, remember, keep your core tight and don't let the back move. So think about keeping the back as still as possible. Your hips move. It's a door hinge. Hinge it back, hinge it up. Your Reverse lunge in three, two, and one. One count pause at the bottom. Last three, two, and one. Wow, breather, shake it out. Other side is next. Dumbbell in left hand, right leg grounds, right hand on your chair. Again, you don't have to use the chair. Slight rotation in towards that foot as we go down and then up. It's the matter of inches. So again, if I were to just go straight down, it's looking like that. The rotation looking like that. Very, very slight. Reverse lunge with a pause in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Wow, shake it out. Round two is next. We go in three, two, and one. Single leg RDL with a slight rotation.
Reverse lunge with a pause in three, two. Wow, and one, shake it out if needed. If not, get right into it. Last three, two, and one. Well, recover. We have a neutral grip row, left side. I will be using a 20 pound dumbbell. Left hand grabs dumbbell, right foot forward. Use your chair to help stabilize. Left leg goes back. Now we drive the elbow towards the hip, quarter rep, control it down. Squeeze lat, squeeze lat again, control. Next up, we have a lateral lunge with an upright row. The dumbbell stays in the left hand. Right knee will bend in three, two, and one. I'm not mirroring you anymore. Left hand has dumbbell. Hinge from the right knee and right hip. Upright row. Hinge it down. Pull it up. Glutes, quads, hamstrings, adductors, and then we're hitting the upper back as well as the delt. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Shake it out. Round two is next. Quarter rep at the top with that row. Neutral grip, elbow in tight, hitting the lat. Let's go. Lateral lunge with an upright row is next. And three, two, and one. I'm gonna drop it down to a lighter weight because my form will not be good. Otherwise, do the same if needed, or you may need to increase the weight. Everyone is different. Last three, two, and one. Other side is next. Left leg forward. Right hand will have the dumbbell. Quarter rep at the top. Let's go.
Next up, we have a lateral lunge with an upright row. Match what you did round one on the left side in three, two, and one. Hinge left knee, left hip, upright row with the right arm. Last three, two, and one. Recover. Final round of this, and then we are on to our final superset of the workout. Here we go. Let's do it. Next up, we have a lateral lunge with upright row. Match what you did round two on the left side in three, two, and one. I dropped to 15 pounds last time, so I'm going to match it on this side. Last three, two, and one. Okay, we have an eight-way raise, six-way raise with a tricep extension at the top. I will be using five-pound dumbbells. This is our final superset. Here we go, follow my lead. Eight-part movement, out, in, overhead, triceps, back in front, to the side, lower down. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Make sure when the dumbbells go overhead that you keep the rib cage stacked over the pelvis. The tendency, I'll show you the tendency is to want to let the rib cage flare and we lose the core control by going like this so just keep the core engaged keep rib cage stacked over pelvis next up we have Lou raises with the tricep extension at the top in three two and one supinated grip triceps then down bring it up triceps Bring it down. Last three, two, and one. We have that one more time. And then we add just a little bit, a little bit to a little burnout ending. All right, so this is it. This is it, about two minutes remaining. About, approximately, eight count raise. Let's do it.
glute raise with triceps. Wow, let's go. Dumbbell lateral four raises next in three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Couple more reps, then we end with lateral raises. One to a quarter rep. Quarter rep is at the top. In three, two, and one. Don't hate me. We pulse at the top in three, two, and one, 15 seconds. Come on, you got this. Hang on. Last three, two, and one. We are done, done. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's stretch, shall we? Let's start by just giving ourselves a hug in with one arm. Doesn't matter which arm, because we're going to do both. And let's switch sides. Ooh, that feels good. All right. Inhale both arms. Wow. Overhead. Grab one wrist. Cross at the ankle. A little side body stretch. Getting the lat muscle as well. And let's take it to the other side. We're going to do that exact same thing, but this time, hinge at the elbow, and let's get a little bit more tricep. And take it to the other side. Use your chair or your wall if you don't have one. Use your core. <laughs> We're going to get a nice little hamstring stretch. We'll start with the left side first. So just hinge it back. We're feeling a nice stretch along the back of the left leg. When you're ready, bring it up, ground with the right foot, left foot, find it if you can. If not, you can use a towel or something where you can take it to the ground. That might be more accessible. Just pull it in. We're only here for five, four, three, two, one. Cross it over the thigh and send it back for a figure four stretch. Now we're really getting into that left hip, left glute. Make sure you drive the knee back and then hinge it down. One more big deep inhale and take it to the other side. Stretches a little quick. If you want more stretching, I will link some additional stretching videos in the description below, so check them out. They feel so good. Treat yourself, show your body some TLC. Grab it, quad stretch. Release, figure four. Make sure that knee isn't caving in, so press the knee back. Then start to hinge, wow, wow, wow. Slowly come out of it, inhale, arms up. And exhale, we are done. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters the most. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Your love and support means the absolute world to me. So as always, tag me in your posts and stories on IG. Love to see it at Laurie Midkiff. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And most importantly, have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.